What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I will be doing chapter 22, problem 64, in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. And in chapter 64, we are given a figure uh, similar to this one. So we have um, eight charges that are in a square. And um, there's a distance between all of them is equal. And we'll call that distance R. And so these numbers here are uh, the charge on each one. And then we have our center point we'll call P. So this has charge 3, 1, negative 5, etc. And um, the problem gives us the distance between, like, gives us the distance R, and it asks us to write, to solve for the net electric field um, produced at the center of the square and write that in unit vector notation. Um, so if you look here, uh, since this is 3 and this is 3, that, uh, those two actually cancel. 1 and 1 cancel. Negative 5, negative 5 cancel. So the only, um, the only charges having any effect of, on the net electric field in the middle are these two, the uh, horizontal ones in the middle. So um, it is assumed that this particle in the middle is positive, so that means that um, it's going to be attracted to here, be attracted to this side, um, to the right, uh, by two charges, and it's going to be repelled over here by one charge. So in total, it's three charges to the right. So we can say the electric field is equal to three charges over four pi epsilon sub zero r squared. And then since it's in unit vector notation, that is i hat, because that's in the it's in the uh, x on the horizontal, so it's on the like x axis. And so when we plug our values in, we get three times, and this is this value here is the elementary charge constant, and then that's over four pi eight point eight five times ten to the negative twelfth. And then we're given that distance r is 2 centimeters, but we need to convert that to meters, which is going to be 0 0.02 meters. So we have 0 0.02 squared i hat. And then when you put that in your calculator, you should get 1.08 times 10 to the negative fifth newtons per coulomb i hat. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.